I helped found the international climate campaign 350.org, and I'm the author of a new book on the climate crisis. And I'm here to argue today that freaking out over climate change might not be such a bad idea. We've known about climate change for three decades, and for three decades we've wondered about how to get people to act. An awful lot of people have decided that the best way is to sugarcoat the situation or to stress solutions instead of problems. And the easier the solution, the better. This hasn't worked. So the time has come for more people to start doing what we should have done all along, speak plainly. I called my new book, Falter, Has the Human Game Begun to Play Itself Out? Not because I thought it would charm people, but because I thought it depicted accurately the world we live in now. And accuracy? is the beginning of action. Imagine going to a doctor who says, oh, if you keep eating like this, someday your cholesterol will be too high. If you're like most people, you do nothing. Bring on the cheese. But now imagine going to the doctor and he says, your cholesterol is already up in the zone where people have heart attacks. In fact, I think you might have had a mild stroke already. That's the point where most people say, what pill do I take? The good news is there are pills available. In the last 10 years, the price of a solar panel has dropped 90%, and batteries are plummeting down the same cost curve. That means we now know what we can do to change our world. But because we don't worry enough, we don't move with the speed that physics requires. We assume that time is on our side when precisely the opposite is true. The oil companies are stringing out this transition, trying to preserve their business model for a few more decades, and they continue to use the same soothing message they've used for years. We don't know for sure, maybe it won't be so bad. But we do know for sure. Scientists have sounded the alarm loud and clear. And it's already bad. Just ask the people who managed to survive this year's record floods in the Midwest or in Mozambique. Greta Thunberg, leader of the remarkable school climate strikes across Europe, told a crowd of bigwigs in Davos this year, I want you to panic. Precisely because we've waited so long to do anything, panic is now appropriate. And it'll probably be more effective than playing pretend.